In this video, we are going to create a snapshot of a EC2 instance or create a snapshot of a volume. And then we are going to use that snapshot to restore the volume or in case, let's say your instance gets terminated or something happens, you can go back to the snapshot that you had created and create a volume out of it and then attach that volume to the new instance. So in that way you can recover your lost data if you create a snapshot of your volume so let's see how we can do that so let's say let's go to our ec 2 console and we are going to launch an instance amazon linux 1 t2 micro here in instance detail we won't enter any additional details storage is fine tags we'll name it as web server 1 Security group, we just need a security group where we are able to SSH into the instance where we are port 22. We are going to launch the instance. So over here our web server instance is pending. Once it's in running state, we'll SSH onto the instance. We'll create some files and then take a snapshot of the volume. And then we'll terminate the instance, spin up a new instance and restore the snapshot into a volume and attach that volume to the new instance. Let's see how to do that. So now our web server one is running, we'll log in our SSH to the web server. So I'll go to SSH. So over here, I'm just going to create a directory. So basically we have created a directory and inside that we have created index.html file. So now once that's done, we will take snapshot of the volume. So for that, we will go to the root device, click on the root device name, click on the EBS ID, the volume ID. So it will take us to the volume and you will know that the availability zone is USD 1D. Our instance is in USD East 1D. We'll go to actions, create snapshot. And we'll just give a description. We can give a name as well. and then click on create snapshot. Or we can go to that snapshot and you can see the progress over here and it's 5% and within few seconds it will be 100%. So now our snapshot is available 100%. We'll go back to our EC2 instance and we are going to terminate our EC2 instance. So before that, one thing I'd like to point out is you can also go to instance setting and click on change termination protection and you can enable termination protection. So once termination protection is enabled, you can go back to your instance and when you click on terminate, it won't let you terminate because you have termination protection enabled. So you can cancel. I'll go back and disable the termination protection. So once that's disabled, I'm going to terminate my EC2 instance. So now our EC2 instance is getting terminated. We will spin up a new EC2 instance and we will attach the volume that we will create from our snapshot to the new EC2 instance. So 
our all the files will be preserved so remember we had created a folder inside it we had created an html file so let's uh, create a new instance now with blank disk it will be t2 micro instance detail doesn't matter storage uh, we'll keep the defaults and it will be almost a blank disk and the name would be let's say web server 2 so we can identify our servers earlier it was web server dash 1 now it's web server dash 2 security group we just need a security group where we can ssh right now so we'll click on review and launch and click on launch so now this instance is spinning up first we will log into this instance and see it has no files in it so now once the instance is running we'll ssh onto the instance and you can see over here there's no data we haven't created any data so now once the instance has all its status checked passed we will stop the instance and restore the files to this instance but before that we can go to our snapshots and we already have the snapshot created from our earlier instance we are going to create a new volume out of it so we'll click on create volume and it will be in 1d the same availability zone as your new instance because your volume cannot be in a different availability zone compared to your instance and name of the volume would be web server 2 and then we'll click on create volume so the volume is being created right now so now we have two volumes one is the original volume of our web server 2 and the other volume which is available which is not attached to anything this is the volume that we created right now from the snapshot of web server 1 so now like you can see over it, it's an available and this one is in use status so now we can go back to our ec2 instance and then go to our web server 2 and we'll stop the instance so we'll wait for the instance to stop completely and then attach the new volume but we need to copy this root device name because that's very important to attach the restored volume so copy this root device so we wait for our web server to to stop completely so now our web server 2 is completely stopped we will go to volumes and first of all this volume is in use we are going to detach that volume from web servers 2 the blank volume of web server 2 so now it's available but now we are going to click on the restored volume from our snapshot click on attach volume search the web server 2 instance id paste the device name that we had copied uh, for web server to volume the root volume so it's important you need to have this device name otherwise your volume won't be attached so now click on attach so now it's attached so we basically removed the volume of our web server 2 and attached the snapshot the volume that was created from the snapshot of web server 1 so now we'll go back to ec2 and start our instance our web server 2 
So once it started, we will SSH and we'll see that our files that we had created on web server one, the index.html, the folder, they will be available on web server two. Because we just swapped the two volumes, basically. Now it's running, we'll SSH again to web server two. And you can see over here, we have the web server files, we have the index.html restored to web server two. So this is how you create a snapshot of a volume.